Welcome back to the Factory 5 MK4 Complete Kit Build Series. Up until this point, we've shown you how to install the rear suspension, front suspension, steering, brakes, and pedal box assembly. And today, we're going to install the gas tank. First, we're going to need to find the plastic end caps that we insert into the three quarter tubes that the gas tank is going to sit up against. Go ahead and push those into place. Now we're going to move on to the fuel tank. We have the fuel tank vent, the fuel tank pickup, and the fuel tank sending unit. Take note that the fuel tank does have a plastic cover that needs to be installed before we put the tank into the vehicle. Now we're going to install the fuel tank vent assembly. First, find the grommet and work its way around the hole, seating it into position in the fuel tank. From here, find the nylon insert and the fuel tank vent itself. Grab a set of wrenches and assemble the two pieces together on the bench. Once that is complete, insert that into the grommet already in the fuel tank. Now, find the fuel tank pickup gasket and place it into the seating surface, making sure everything fits. Before you permanently install it, find some fuel safe gasket sealer and place it on both sides of the gasket. Once that is in place, grab the fuel tank pickup and take note of the two tabs that need to be aligned with the two receiver units in the pickup seating surface. Then, insert the pickup into the tank carefully, making sure to work your way down into the sump area of the tank and line up those two tabs. Now, grab the locking collar, insert it over the fuel tank pickup, and using a screwdriver and hammer, rotate it clockwise until the bump hits the mounting tab. Now we're going to repeat the process for the fuel level sending unit. Grab the gasket and test fit it into place. And using the same fuel safe sealant, place it on both sides of the gasket and install it into the recess on the tank. Now we're going to install the fuel level sending unit. Take note that there is also two locating tabs that need to line up with the recesses cut into the tank. Once that's in place, grab your locking ring, put it into place over the sending unit, and rotate it until it's fully seated against the fuel tank. Get your fuel filler gasket, and using a little bit of WD-40 or silicon lubricant, place it onto the gasket and insert it into the fuel tank. Now we're gonna install the fuel tank straps. Take note that one is longer than the other one. The shorter one will go on the left side of the vehicle, the longer one will go on the right side of the vehicle. Now, hold the fuel tank strap up to the car, insert, and loosely tighten down the bolt. You need to make sure that the fuel tank strap can still pivot up under the tank. Repeat this process for the other strap. Now, insert your bolts at the front mounting points to make it easier to install the tank. Take note that where the fuel strap wraps around the tank, the fuel tank itself is bent up to make clearance for the straps. This may or may not to be bent down in order to gain you some extra clearance. Now with the assistance of another person, the fuel tank can be installed. Slide the tank in from one side to the other, holding it up into place against those 
plastic three-quarter caps we installed earlier. Rotate the straps up into place and put your lock nut on either side of the mounting bolts. Now tighten down the fuel tank strap bolts, making sure to only go so far as for the tank to contact the three-quarter tubes. Using some silicone lubricant or WD-40, install the fuel filler itself. Sliding it into the grommet we installed earlier. Grab your retaining ring, slide it down the fuel filler, and line it up with the pre-drilled hole in the fuel tank. Use the supplied hardware to bolt it into place. From here, you'll want to get some duct tape or masking tape to cover up the hole in the fuel filler to make sure that no particulates or anything else gets inside the tank while you're building the car. With the fuel tank installed and the straps all tightened down, everything's good to go back here and we're ready to move on to the next part. We'll see you next time.